In this video, we are going to go over the solutions to the stem and leaf display problem by hand and in R. As always, if the videos have helped and you have the means to financially support the channel, you can sub uh, join as a member for 2 or $5 Canadian a month by hitting the join button down below, or you can share, comment, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. It all helps me out greatly, so no matter which method you take, I appreciate everything. Anyways, I was asked, I asked you to create a stem and leaf display for 100 meter dash times in seconds given these numbers. Now we have decimal points, but that's okay. We can still do the cutoff at the decimal point and we just treat everything after the line as having a decimal point before it. So we can set up our stem and leaf display by just making a little line here and we can see what numbers we have. All these times are either 12, 13, 14, or 15 seconds. So I'm going to just do it in ascending order this time. So I'll start with 12 at the top and go 15 at the bottom. That way when we do our thing in R, it'll look similar. So we'll do 12, we'll do 13, we'll do 14, and we'll do 15. Now by hand, it might help to order all of these things in ascending order first in the list, uh, but I'm just going to go through and try to write these out in order. So first I see 12. So I see 12, three, 12, eight, 12, seven. So we have three 12s. So the first one is 12.3, then we have 12.7 and 12.8. So now we are done with our 12s. Okay, I'll do each one in a different color just to keep track of it in the list above. So 13s, I have 13.4, 13.8, 13.5, 13.9, 13.4, 13.4, 13.9. 13, so I have three fours, that's our smallest. So 13.4, 13.4, 13.4. Next smallest I have 13.5. And then I have 13.8 once, and I have two 13.9s. So that's all of our 13 times listed out. Let's do yellow next for 14s. So we have 14.5, 14.2, 14.5, and 14.8. The smallest one there is 14.2. Then we have two 14.5s, and we have a 14.8. So all of our 14s are done. Now our last one, we have 15, so 15, 4, 15, 2. In ascending order, we have 15.2 and then 15.4. So here's our stem and leaf plot. What we should do now is make sure it has a title so we know what these numbers represent. So this is 100 meter dash in seconds. Okay, so that is our 100 meter dash times done by hand. Now I want to do this in R. Of course, I don't have the numbers on display for you uh, when we do it on our studio, but I will type them out as we go so that way we have the same thing and you can watch the entire process of creating a vector. So let's look over here. So what I want to do is I want to give this a name. So I can call this uh, just times. Uh, it's a vector, so I'm going to assign it, assign a vector to it, and we create a vector by doing C with every all of our numbers there uh, between it. So we have 13.2, 15.4, 15.2, uh, 13.5, 13.4. This is usually quite a painful process to actually type out by hand every single time. So when you have data in a spreadsheet, often it's quite uh, convenient because you can just read the spreadsheet and we'll talk about that at some point. But when you're just typing everything out by hand, well, it takes a bit of time, but you can do it. Okay, so we have 16 numbers here in our list as said by the right, so we have numbers from one to 16. I had 16 numbers in the data set. It's good, I'm hoping they're all right. Now, we just use the stem command, we put in our variable with it, and now we have a nice thing here. 12.3, 12.7, 12.8, all of our fours, all of our twos, or all of our fourteens, all of our fifteens. Now, notice here at the top, it tells you where the decimal point is. So even though we don't see a decimal point in our stem and leaf plot, it says the decimal point is at the bar here. So this means 12.3, 12.7, 12.8, and so on. Notice also how we didn't have to use the scale command again. So if we have scale equals one, that's what we started with. There's only five lines of data. Now, if we make scale two, uh, we now separate it into eight lines, it doubles, and what happens here when we use scale, because some of you might do this, and you might wonder, why do we have two 12s and two 13s? Well, when you use a scale bigger than what's needed, it still cuts everything in half. 
So now instead of taking a look at all the 12s, it's looking at all the 12s below 0.5 and all the 12s after 0.5, then all the 13s before 0.5 and all the 13s after 0.5. Anyways, uh, that's the problem in our studio and by hand. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you when I can.